Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I achieve one of my favorite protective hairstyles. It's probably not my favorite no more because um, it's real hard since my hair has gotten a lot thicker since I started doing this hairstyle. Like, I really, it used to be so easy, but y'all gonna watch me struggle. Um, I hope this got, uh, I hope this video is helpful for y'all. It was and a struggle. I need to practice this hairstyle. I really need to practice it more because this side is just not, I don't like this side, but this side, this side fleeky. And my it, baby hairs. Y'all, I didn't know I had baby hairs for real, but they be pop. They be popping out. They be popping out. They be making their debut sometimes. So I hope you guys protective styling is when you basically just protect your ends. Your ends are tucked away. They're um not out in the open. Like when I wear afros, that's not a protective style because my ends are loose, they are free. And um, that's why box braids are considered a protective style. Marley twists, crochet braids, sew ins, all of those are protective styles because your ends are tucked away and there's nothing to there's nothing to damage them, there's nothing to harm them. And you know, that's what makes a protective style. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys try out this style and it works out better for you than it did for me. <laughs> I started this hairstyle on freshly washed hair with my hair sectioned off into like six sections and I used my Eco Styler gel and a wide tooth comb and really that's it. I parted my hair. Um, you can part it however you want to. I like to do a side part because that's just my thing. I used to do a middle part but I'm not really into those no more. I don't know why I fussed my hair out for that long but y'all. My hair is pretty big and it just grew so much and it's just so thick and I just don't be knowing what to do. But anyway, you take the Eco Styler Gel and really just put it all through your hair. And you have to detangle it as you go and put as much as you need. Like I need it kind of a lot. I actually needed more than what I used because... I really needed to smooth my hair down and that's why this side was not as successful as the other side but I didn't feel like redoing this like y'all it was hard I'm just gonna let y'all in on a little secret I got this sped up to four times the speed and it looks like I'm going in like real time. Y'all can't tell me that's not crazy. That's how hard it was to get this twist done. Now on this side I do realize that I used a lot more gel but also this section was a lot smaller than the other side and this is the side that I twist better on so I don't know why I wouldn't put the part on the side that I twist better on but I know what to do for next time.
Now when you're adding your bobby pins, you have to do this as you feel is needed. Like I felt like my bigger twist was a lot looser so I ended up adding more bobby pins off camera. When I'm all done with the twist, I just get my scarf and tie it around my edges so they can be laid with a T. And that's it guys, you're all done. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, share. And that's all I have. See you in the next video.